In today's reading, we're in Joshua chapter 17. This chapter is a great picture of how we can so easily get in our own way when it comes to God's plan for our lives. Manasseh didn't follow God's plan and do what the Lord commanded. They were supposed to eliminate the Canaanites, but instead they allowed groups of them to remain. Joshua 17, 12 through 13 says, but the descendants of Manasseh were unable to occupy these towns because the Canaanites were determined to stay in that region. Later, however, when the Israelites became strong enough, they forced the Canaanites to work as slaves. And then it goes on to say, but they still did not drive them out of the land. So here, they're given another chance to do as God instructed, but decided that their plan was good enough. But then what happens? Their plans end up causing more problems for them. Now, their land is too crowded. And they go to Joshua in verse 14 and say, why have you given us only one portion of our land as our homeland when the Lord has blessed us with so many people? And I just, I love how Joshua responds in the rest of this chapter. It kind of hit me like a parent talking with their children. When a parent, you know, asks questions they already know the answers to, but they ask them anyway. And it, way to help their child kind of come to the correct conclusion on their own. Joshua tells them, Oh, well, if there's so many of you, go clear out the land in the forest. And then they respond in verse 16 saying, uh, But all the Canaanites have iron chariots and they're too strong for us. And I can just imagine Joshua saying to them, Oh, you mean the Canaanites that you didn't eliminate like God instructed are now keeping you from fulfillment of God's promises? Hmm, imagine that. I wonder what you should do. Manasseh was focused on the problems rather than the promises. Even though the Lord had already proven himself, they got in their own way of God's best for them. And God has a plan for your life and it's better than you can even begin to rationalize in your mind. But we don't need to have all the answers. We don't need to know how God is going to do it. We just need to take one step at a time in faith, believing that he can and will fulfill his promises in our life. The battle may seem impossible, but just as scripture tells us, through God, all things are possible.